of an inch spacing. So I will measure 1.67 from the center point. And so I'm going to make it so this is. One two five. Just trying to figure out where my treble E string. Eastern going to be on this bridge. That looks good. That looks good. So now I'm just going to get rid of these other lines. I've just basically established where they will be intersecting with uh, the bridge. Now I have to mark out my scale. So it's 25.4. Take out the 400 thousandths of an inch. Now, one issue that always concerns me is when somebody puts a cable on. That's my 25.4 inch mark. And I just noticed that the note often goes sharp. So I'm going to add another 50 thou. So I'll make it so my point of intersection is drain right here. I'll measure again. If you add approximately 50 thousandths of an inch just to make sure then chances are this guitar will never be sharp when you fret and it'll have really good intonation. So now in your case you can measure from the front line because it's it's straight. So what I'll do, you'll add 150 thou and I'll subtract 150 thou. So I'll go 160, why not? So then this is where the base E string is going to be. So now my line will cut into here will be like that and just to make it look nice I would stop something like that and where's my saddle blank? I have a saddle blank there it is thank you. that's plenty long enough so uh this is the line that I'm going to be routing. Now, I'm going to have it basically just centered um, on the base E. And then if you would zoom in on the, uh, if this is the, the saddle slot, and you divide it into three, this dot is the intersection of the first and second section. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So if you divide into three, it's at the front. And then I just usually have that centered. It's, it's going to be fine. So then, one other thing that I'll do is uh, just get a piece of mask. Okay, there's the mask right here. Just so it can visually uh, have an easier time. 
differentiating my left to right. Put a little bit of tape down. Now, I'll take my little router and I will lower the router so it's just a hair above that line. And I'll slide this jig around. It's got a cork base on it so it's not going to damage anything. Maybe it will. It shouldn't. And I'm going to line up my rotor bit. With this line. Now I used to have a rotor bit that was one step bigger than this one, but it got broken recently, so we'll just use this and add tape onto the actual rotor itself until we have the right slot. That's pretty, pretty good. Let the rotor sit there so I have some weight. Now, smash my guitar top. So be careful not to scratch your finish now. And I will check once more. Pretty good, looks pretty good. Okay, that's nice. So now I'll put another clamp over here just to play it safe. You can never have enough clamps. Sometimes the way that the guitar is sitting, the way that the dome is, it might uh, might have a little bit of a rocking to it. If it does, just take note and we can uh, clamp the other end. This is sitting relatively flat. Because I'm concerned that this is an important little procedure, I don't want to end up having my, my intonation get messed up. So I'm going to put on a fourth, even with just barely touching that bar there. There we go. That's probably going to fall off. So now, take the old Rotorino, plug it in, and now what I will do is I will take the router and I will lower it until it touches the top of the wing. That's going to be my maximum depth. Then I'll adjust the uh, height setting bar here and I'll raise it up. And then we'll turn it on, I'll go zip back and forth, one third the depth, zip back and forth the second third and the third third, and then... Uh Teeny tiny little itty bitty baby slot, and it's not uh, big enough. So, what I'll do take three veneers, these three veneers together are 
48 thou, and that's a 50,007 inch channel. So after. Hey, morning. Hello. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> oh, yeah, just remember Marcel. Mm -hmm. Are you back? I'm for a visit. <laughs> How's life? Very good, good. Oops. You're running, are you? Yeah, but I kind of petered up the last quarter because, man, it's hot. <laughs> okay, so now I have two pieces of tape and 47 thousand. That's 8 and 47, is 55, so it's going to be about 105 thousand of this channel. I want to take into consideration the different types of pickups that are available. There's your thin and your wide format uh, pickups, which vary between like 93 thousandths of an inch wide and uh, 125. So this will be over 100, which ends up being a happy medium. So I can put the narrow format uh, piezo in there if you want, and it should be fine. channel it looks pretty level so that's good now one thing I am going to do is because I like to have a rounded end and because I can't really get too rounded of an end what I'm going to do is just put one veneer in I'll just do one pass just to see if I can round up the ends a little bit That just looks a little more normal. So there is now my saddle slot. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it at this point. <laughs> 